Welcome to a special edition of The Rev Zone. I'm Nick Andrews. On today's edition, join Browning, Stubbs, Houston Brock, Pete Porter, Joe Clifton, Cameron Cook, and myself as we preview the 2014 Rebels Choice Awards, which will be held on Monday, March 31st at 7 p.m. at the Gertrude C. Ford Center. First award we're going to be discussing today, the Rookie of the Year Award. One Rookie of the Year Award candidate on the men's side was Laquan Treadwell, a true freshman wide receiver on the football team, stood out amongst a class of standouts. Cameron Cook has the story. Wide to the left is uh, Moncrief and Logan. There's a snap. Wallace crossing route in the middle is grabbed by Treadwell. Breaks one tackle, breaks another, breaks a third. He's to the 10, to the 5. He dives from the pylon. And he is With all of his achievements in the 2013-2014 football season, it is no surprise that Laquan Treadwell is a candidate for Rookie of the Year. Along with becoming SEC Freshman of the Year, Treadwell was named First Team Freshman All-America and SEC All-Freshman. Here's what Bo Wallace had to say about Treadwell. When he came in, uh, you know, he's a five-star. You, you expect a lot. And, uh, you know, he, he lived up to every bit of it. Uh, he came in, he was a big body that can use his body to, to shield defenders and a uh, real physical guy who, who blocks on the edge and things like that. So, um, you know, he's everything you can ask for. Second and nine, Wallace in the face of danger. And how about that? Going up and getting it is Treadwell. Treadwell finished the year with 72 catches, which places him second in school history. He also set three other freshman records, such as 608 total receiving yards, five touchdowns, and he had the most catches in one game with nine against Vanderbilt. Well, as a freshman to come in and be our leading receiver, that just doesn't happen in this league. Uh, and you look at it, he, it wasn't like he was just wide open all the time and we're getting him the ball. He made so many plays all on his own that creates the quarterback wanting to throw him the ball. He's not really sure where to go with it. Everybody's covered. He was going to throw it up to the Laquan and he'd make a play for him. Anytime you have a recruit come in, you're always a little leery because it, it is high school to college and let alone the SEC. So it's going to be tough for him. So we figured he'd hopefully play a little bit and help us and be a spot duty type guy. But to come in and start and be our leading receiver again is just phenomenal. With the numbers Treadwell had in only his freshman year, he is definitely a favorite for this year's Rookie of the Year. So the coaching staff, when they recruited Laquan, expected big things in Cameron. He delivered in a big way right from game one. Yeah, this freshman out of Illinois did, uh, did wonderful things for the Rebels. He was the freshman SEC Player of the Year, uh, broke four school records for freshmen, and uh, he was just an amazing player. I know that the, the coaching staff thought he'd make a big impact right away, and he's done that. Another freshman that's made a big impact right away uh, from Spain, Sebastian Saiz, and Browning Stubbs is going to tell us about uh, Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian Saiz, guys, he's a big six foot nine forward, and he's got a lot of potential. He's from Madrid, Spain, played in the FIBA Under-19 League, also played in the FIBA Under-20 League, and he, he did some good things this year, and he's going to be a big part uh, for the future of Ole Miss basketball. Yeah, so Laquan Treadwell, Sebastian Saiz, the nominees on the men's side, but the women had some standouts as well. I know Aubrey Eady was snubbed from her hometown, University of Arkansas. She got a scholarship at Ole Miss, and it made a huge impact as a true freshman. Yeah, no, absolutely. She came in and made her presence known, averaging 9.21 assists per game, uh, which was uh, eighth in the SEC, first among freshmen. Also uh, had a record 61 assists versus LSU, which was a program record. Obviously has made a huge p impact for the Rebels. Anytime we can get big stats against LSU, we like to reward that, so it's nice to have Aubrey uh, recognized for that. Houston, one sport that's not getting enough attention for how successful they are is Rifle, and Rifle's got a Rookie of the Year nominee as well. Yes, Nick, they did. Allison Weiss, actually a freshman out of Montana. Um, real impact player right off the bat. Um, did a lot of great things uh, for the team this year. She was the first freshman ever to qualify for nationals. Um, so rewriting the um, Ole Miss record books, if you will, actually finished one point shy of um, the all-time school record um, for a match. So that was impressive. I'm looking for a lot of great things from her. She was uh, all conference this year, all freshmen in the conference. So, um, you know, they don't, they don't get as much uh, attention, but she's definitely stepped up as a freshman and uh, really been a leader on that team. For, for, for being so impactful as a freshman, it's nice to see her nominated here as well. But one team that gets a ton of exposure for how good they are is, is track and field, both on the men's and on the women's side. Asia Cooper, true freshman on the women's side of track, uh, nominated for this award as well. That's right, Nick. She's doing great things for the Rebels. She's number three all time with her season best of 731 in the 60 meter show. She's doing really great. So, our nominees for Rookie of the Year Asia Cooper, Allison Weiss, Aubrey Eady on the women's side, and on the men's side, a little bit more 
notable players, I suppose you could say, or media exposed players, Laquan Treadwell and Sebastian Saiz. But this award, I think it go to anyone. I like Aubrey Eady on the women's side, Laquan and Sebastian. It's really a toss up here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Laquan Treadwell, obviously with football, you have the media exposure like we talked about, but he was really electric um, for Ole Miss and uh, kind of a fan favorite. He's on social media and stuff a lot, so um, I'll be, I'll be, I think, I think he's got, I think he's going to have. Uh, don't, yeah, don't overlook Sebastian Saiz. He kind of resembles Bruno Mars, and that's never a bad thing. <laughs> right, right. right.